I'm going to be removing the worst team every single season and the last team standing is the Stanley Cup champion. But once we're down to our final 16 teams, they're going to be put in a best of three playoff bracket. With season number one coming to an end, we're already seeing teams eliminated and that's going to be the Ottawa Senators from the Eastern Conference with a 32, 43, and 7 record. And over in the Western Conference, I don't think it's too much of a surprise here, the Arizona Coyotes, 27, 47, and 8. Looking at the entire league, we're going to see Patrick Kane being the lean scorer here with 102 points. So that means he's getting a plus one overall upgrade and he's now up to a 91 overall. We're going to have a fantastic Stanley Cup match because we're going to see the Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas would do everything in their power in their Stanley Cup defense, but it's not going to be enough. Kucherov's going to bury the OT winner in game six, and Tampa's taking home the Stanley Cup. And although Kucherov's scoring that overtime winner, he's not going to be the Conn Smythe winner, as that's going to be Brain Point, who's picking up four goals and 12 assists for 16 points. And with him taking home that Conn Smythe, he's also going to be getting a plus one overall boost, and he's now up to a 91. And our two Stanley Cup finalists are also seeing some upgrades, as Brady Kachuk's going to be joining the Tampa Bay Lightning, while Clayton Keller's going to be taking his talents to the Vegas Golden Knights. Congrats on getting out of Arizona, because it's not looking good over there. Also, by removing the worst team in every conference, they're just going to be replaced by a junior team, because I highly doubt these junior teams are going to win any games unless they're playing another junior team. In year number two, it looks like reality setting in for the Chicago Blackhawks, as they're finishing with a 37, 38, and 7 record, and they're last in the Western Conference. But over in the Eastern Conference, surprisingly, the Buffalo Sabres are going to be the worst team with a 32, 42, and 8 record. It's no surprise that we're seeing Connor McDavid, as he's going to be leading the league with 98 points. And speaking of 98, that's where his overall is now up to after getting a plus one overall boost. Our Stanley Cup match is going to be featuring two different teams this time around, as the Colorado Avalanche going to be taking on the Florida Panthers. This series would be back and forth the entire way, but with time winding down the third period, and Florida's not going to be able to mount the comeback, and the Colorado Avalanche are taking them down in seven games. And on the way to a Stanley Cup, we're going to see Nathan McKinnon taking home the Conn Smythe, picking up five goals and eight assists for 13 points. Although 13 points in the postseason wasn't really impressive for McKinnon, he's still taking home the Conn Smythe, so he's getting the plus one overall boost. On top of that boost from McKinnon, Colorado continues to improve their team as they're now adding Seth Jones to the team, while the Florida Panthers are going to be bringing in Tage Thompson. Before we get into this upcoming season, though, if your team has a pick in the upcoming draft and i know all 32 teams have a pick in this upcoming draft then you have to subscribe to the channel and become part of the 25 percent people that are subbed in season number three the philadelphia flyers are going to be finishing last in the eastern conference with a 31 45 and 6 record while the san jose sharks they're finishing last in the western conference Austin Matthews is going to be having a fantastic season this year. So he's picking up 59 goals and 55 helpers for 114 points. So he's getting that plus one overall boost and he's now up to a 95. Once again, the Stanley Cup final, we're going to be seeing two new teams. But one of these teams is surprising me. And it's not the New York Rangers, but the Los Angeles Kings. Definitely didn't expect them to make it to the final, but here we are. But I think it's safe to say this match was very one-sided as the New York Rangers are going to absolutely dominate the LA Kings and they're taking them down in five games. And on the way, Mika Zibanejad is going to be absolutely incredible. 11 goals, 21 helpers for 32 points, and he's our Conn Smythe winner. So that means Mika Zibanej has moved up to a 90 overall, while Sean Couturier is going to be joining the team from the Philadelphia Flyers. And over in the Western Conference, we're going to see Eric Carlson join the Los Angeles Kings. Moving on to season number four, Detroit's going to be finishing last in the Eastern Conference this time around with a 37, 40, and 5 record. Well, over in the Western Conference, not really too sure how this team finished last. Yeah, no, that one really doesn't really make too much sense to me. Must have been rigged or something. Like, yeah, there, there's no reason this team should be this bad. It looks like that plus one overall boost Nathan McKinnon got a few seasons ago is really helping him out. As he's picking up 109 points this season, he's going to be leading the league, but he's also tied with Johnny Hockey. You know what? I never noticed he was tied with Johnny Hockey, so Nathan McKinnon, you're getting the only upgrade and you're up to a 97 overall. Just the way she goes. But we're quickly moving on from that because we have our Stanley Cup matchup to watch, and that's the Edmonton Oilers taking on the Islanders. It looks like the defense from the New York Islanders was able to shut down Edmonton's offense, as the Islanders are going to be taking home the Stanley Cup in six games. So Sorokin's going to be taking home the Conn Smythe, winning one game with a 349 goals against and a 903 save percentage. Yeah, those stats make a lot of sense. But I'm not going to argue with those numbers, so Sorokin, you're getting that plus one overall boost up to a 92. And Dylan Larkin, you're also going to be joined the New York Islanders while well, Jordan Cairo you're off to the Edmonton Oilers moving on to season number five surprisingly the Columbus Blue Jackets although they're a healthy team they're actually gonna be finishing last year with a 43 32 and 7 record but over in the Western Conference Edmonton after making the Stanley Cup final last season they dropped to 12 yeah I'm gonna keep it a stack how did Edmonton just finish last that doesn't make any sense while well, the Anaheim Ducks made the playoffs and also who would have expected this Brad Marchand to absolutely dominate the league 62 goals and 62 helpers for 124 points Brad Marchand I was not familiar with your game I did not realize you were him and now you're up to a 93 overall, so are we going to see 70 goals from you next season? Who knows? And it looks like Brad Marchand's just going to keep on rolling into the postseason because the Boston Bruins are making it all the way to the Stanley Cup final, and so are the Vancouver Canucks. The current day Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, so Boston should easily sweep them. And here we are. The Vancouver Canucks taking down the Boston Bruins in six games. Yeah, this shouldn't happen. But I guess it's happening in Elias Pettersson. Maybe there's a reason they won. 14 goals and 21 helpers for 35 points. Yeah, I'll give it to you, Vancouver. You actually probably earned this one. Pedersen, he's going to begin that plus one overall boost. He's up to a 92 overall. Johnny Hockey, he's taking his talents to the Boston Bruins. While Connor McDavid, he's now on the Vancouver Canucks. So Vancouver, you just got the best player in the entire league. You guys better not screw this up and somehow finish last next season. It looks like time's officially run out for the Montreal Canadiens as they're going to be finishing last 
last with a 45 35 and 2 record but over in the western conference it doesn't look like vancouver's finishing last the anaheim ducks are and they're gonna be eliminated okay brad marchand what's going on with you my guy 52 goals 68 assists 120 points i understand the league's a lot weaker now but it's also weaker for every other player in the entire league so how are you leading the way i respect it though and you're up to a 94 overall now one of the best in the entire league things just keep going boston's way moving on to things that i'm not expecting we're gonna see a rematch in the stanley cup final and that's gonna be the los angeles kings taking on the new york rangers there's still like 20 teams left in the nhl how did we get a stanley cup rematch this time around the stanley cup final the la kings were ready for the new york rangers and they made this a much more competitive series but like last time the rangers are gonna be able to come out on top in seven games while shesterik and he's taking home the con smythe with a 160 goals against and a 950 save percentage the plus one overall boost is helping shesterik and move up to a 93 overall while nick suzuki he's gonna be taking his talents to new york rangers and over in the western conference troy terry he joined the la kings in season number seven we're gonna have a massive upset as the carolina hurricanes are somehow gonna be falling to dead last finishing with a 45 30 and 7 record the carolina hurricanes dead last over the washington capitals pittsburgh penguins tons of teams that they should be ahead but here we are who would have thought? Well, over in the Western Conference, another shocker in the Nashville Predators finishing dead last. Okay, Brad Marchant, you're the GOAT. I'm saying it right now. 58 goals, 75 assists, 133 points. Like, bro's up to a 95 overall now. No one saw this coming. And if you're like, oh, I saw this coming. I knew Brad Marchant would score this many points. No, you didn't. Nobody saw this happening. And I guarantee you, no one saw this one coming. Not the Vancouver Canucks and New York Rangers matching up in the Stanley Cup Final. No, the fact that the Vancouver Canucks have made the Stanley Cup Final twice. Not once but twice. I don't care that I've eliminated half the teams in the NHL. The entire Western Conference is still basically better than this team. I mean, yeah, they added McDavid, but even still. The biggest issue Vancouver would have with the New York Rangers is they have all the momentum coming in from the last Stanley Cup, and they're going to keep on rolling, taking the Canucks down in seven games. And once again, we're going to see Shesterkin being the hero. He's taking home back-to-back -back Smythe trophies, and he's now up to a 94 overall. And we have to remember, the New York Rangers, since they were a Stanley Cup finalist, they're getting a player from the worst team in the entire league, and that's going to be Sashnikov. This team's going to be unstoppable. Meanwhile, the Vancouver Canucks again a nice upgrade to the defensive cores. Roman Yossi's joined the team. So we've reached our final season in year number eight, and the Florida Panthers are going to be the final team eliminated from the Eastern Conference as they're finishing with a 56 23 and 3 record, while the LA Kings they're going to be eliminated with a 54 24 and 4 record. The rest of these teams are going to be put into a playoff bracket where they're going to be playing a best of three series. But first, we got to finish up this season as Nathan McKinnon's leading the way with 71 goals and 63 helpers for 134 points. So that means he's getting that plus one overall boost, and he's up to a 98 overall. To finish off this crazy season, the Vancouver Canucks have made back to the Stanley cup final for the third time in this video so far while the boston bruins they've made it here for the second time is vancouver going to be able to get revenge on the boston bruins once again it looks like they will because in a tight seven game series vancouver's going to be dominating game seven and they're taking down the boston bruins also shout out to Connor mcdavid he's finally winning a stanley cup and he's our con smythe winner 10 goals and 14 assists for 24 points too bad you couldn't do it in edmonton and on top of winning a stanley cup and taking home the con smythe he's the first player reaching a 99 overall vancouver's also going to be getting another upgrade and that's going to be eric carlson who's going to be joining the defense because technically he was the best player on the la kings because la took him from san jose and now vancouver's taking him so that's working out for the vancouver canucks they're going to upgrade that defensive core once again well, Matthew Kachuk, he's now joined the Boston Bruins. Pretty fitting, if you ask me. So I've put the final 16 teams into this playoff bracket, and we're going to be playing the best of three series, and we're going to be starting off with the Boston Bruins taking on the Washington Capitals. Boston's going to be taking a very important game one as they're picking up six goals en route to a 6-3 victory. Game two is going to be a lot closer, however, and we're going to need overtime after 60 minutes. Halfway into overtime, Oshie's throwing a puck towards the net. Hagelin's picking up the puck en route to the net, and then he's going to beat Allmark, and Washington's evened up this series. But in game three, the Boston Bruins are just going to be too much for the Washington Capitals to handle, and they're taking them down to 5-2 victory and they're taking the washington capitals down they're also bringing another guy onto the team and that's gonna be alexandro ovechkin moving on to our next matchup we're gonna have the pittsburgh penguins taking on the toronto maple leafs so game one was on pace to go into overtime but that's not how it's gonna end as austin matthews is gonna throw a puck towards the net mitch martyr is gonna deflect it in and toronto's taking game one and in game two it's gonna be all toronto they're picking up seven goals and they're gonna cruise to a 7-3 victory in game two before we move on to our next matchup we got to add another player to the toronto maple leafs and that's gonna be sid the kid our next matchup is gonna be a first round rematch as the new york rangers are taking on the new jersey devils game one's gonna need a bit of overtime with New Jersey on the power play halfway into overtime Timo Meyer's gonna get the puck in the left circle Shesterkin's gonna be screened so he's not gonna see the shot Timo Meyer's beating him and New Jersey's taking game one but in game two it looks like the offense from the New York Rangers is waking up they're picking up four goals on route to a 4-1 victory and we're needing game three game three has been a tight one the entire way so we're gonna need overtime once again Nick Suzuki's throwing a puck towards the net and Vanacek's gonna make the save however there is gonna be a rebound Suzuki's gonna crash the net he's picking up that rebound beating 
Belichick, and the New York Rangers are now off to the next round. But the Rangers have to continue to improve that forward course, and now they're bringing Jack Hughes onto the team. We're on to our final Eastern Conference matchup, and that's the New York Islanders taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Game one's going to feature eight goals, but five of them are coming from the New York Islanders, so they're taking game one. Game two is going to need a bit of overtime, and somehow Matthew Barzell is going to be able to get past both defenders. He's beaten Vasilevsky, and the Islanders are sweeping the Tampa Bay Lightning. So how I've been selecting these players is I've been taking the top guy from the player movement list. However, in this instance, it doesn't really make sense for the New York Islanders to add Vasilevsky, as he's only a plus two overall upgrade from Sorokin. So instead, I'm going to be bringing Nikita Kucherov onto the New York Islanders. Moving on to the second half of our first round matchups, the Seattle Kraken are taking on the Winnipeg Jets. Winnipeg and Seattle would be exchanging goals throughout the entire game, but in the final two minutes, Sam Gagne is going to be picking up a shorthanded goal in Winnipeg's taking game one. Game two would be a completely different story though, as Martin Jones is going to be standing on his head. He's making 31 saves, and we're off to a game three elimination. And in game three, it looks like the Seattle Kraken are going to be able to outlast the Winnipeg Jets, and they're taking them down a 4-1 victory. And although Martin Jones played absolutely fantastic, I'm not going to pass up on Connor Halbuck, so welcome to the Seattle Kraken. The reigning Stanley Cup champions are going to be featured in our next matchup, but we're going to see the Vegas Golden Knights taking on the Vancouver Canucks. Vegas is going to be absolutely dominating Vancouver, picking up six goals in game one, and I thought six goals was a lot. And then game two happened. This team allowed 15 goals in two games. Here, Connor McDavid, you're coming over to the Vegas Golden Knights. Our next matchup is going to see the Calgary Flames taking on the Dallas Stars. Dallas is going to do a good job lighting the lamp as they're going to be taking game one six to three. But in game two, Calgary is going to find a way to respond so they're evening up this series and we're headed to a game three elimination but once again it looks like the offense from the dallas stars is just gonna to be too much for the calgary flames to handle they're picking up six goals once again and they're off to the next round and before they reach the next round they gotta add elias lynn home to the team we've reached our final matchup of the first round that's gonna see the minnesota wild taking on the colorado avalanche gorgiev's gonna be a stud in game one he's making 24 saves en route to the shutout and in game two once again gorgiev's gonna be a stud he's only allowing one goal in this series and colorado's taking game two four to one and although minnesota wasn't able to score on gorgiev we're gonna an elite goal scorer to the team for the Minnesota Wild and Kirill Kaprizov. We've officially reached the second round and we're down to our final eight teams and our first matchup is going to see the Boston Bruins taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Game one was a close one the entire way so we're needing overtime and with Boston unable to clear the puck from the defensive zone, Wayne Simmons is going to get the puck in the slot. He's ripping one past Allmark and Toronto's taking game one. Game two would be a similar story as once again these two teams are going to need overtime except this time Boston's going to be coming out on top and we're headed to a game three elimination. The only difference in game three is this one's not going to need any overtime and Boston's taking down the Toronto Maple Leafs in a 5-1 victory. And from the Toronto Maple Leafs, of course, Austin Matthews has now joined the Boston Bruins. Moving on to our other Eastern Conference matchup, we have a battle of New York as the Rangers are taking on the Islanders. And the Rangers, they're looking to make a statement in Game 1, that's exactly what they're doing as they're taking Game 1 5-0. But this New York Islanders team isn't just going to fold over, they're taking Game 2 4-2 and we're headed to a Game 3 elimination. But in order to make Game 3 a bit more competitive, we're going to need a bit of overtime and some nice passing is going to find Seshnikov open in the slot. He's going to rip a shot past Sorokin and the Rangers are off to the Conference Finals. Before we get to the Conference Finals though, let's keep improving that forward core and Nikita Kucherov, welcome to the team. Moving on to the Western Conference, our two newest expansion teams are going to be taking each other on as the Seattle Kraken are facing off against the Vegas Golden. Knights. The Connor Halbuck pickup for the Seattle Kraken is playing a major piece in game one as he's picking up a 34 save shutout. And in game two, in the final seconds, Halbuck's making some big saves and the Seattle Kraken are taking this one 3 2. And through taking down the Vegas Golden Knights, it's no surprise who we're taking away from them. That's going to be Connor McDavid. Moving on to our final second round matchup, that's going to see the Dallas Stars taking on the Colorado Avalanche. Colorado's going to be collapsing in the second half of this game as they're allowing Dallas to score four unanswered. And it looks like that momentum is going to carry over into game two as Dallas is taking this one 4 2 as well and they're off to the conference finals. Before they reach the conference finals though they're going to be adding Nathan Kinn to the team just to make that offensive core a bit stronger. So we're officially down to our final four teams the Boston Bruins taking on the New York Rangers and the Seattle Kraken taking on the Dallas Stars. Let's start in the Eastern Conference with the Boston Bruins and New York Rangers. Even though New York has all these amazing forward pieces they're not going to be able to score very many goals in game one as Boston's taking this one four to one. Game two is going to need a bit of overtime and a 4-4 tie and four minutes in some nice passing from the Boston Bruins is going to free up Austin Matthews. He's going to one tie one up beating Shesterkin and the Boston Bruins are sweeping the New York Rangers. Like keep in mind this is the New York Rangers forward core right now. This team scored one goal in game one. Now that's a tough way to go out, nothing else to say. And Nikita Kucherov, you're now a member of the Boston Bruins and you're off to the Stanley Cup final. But first, we gotta see who you're taking on and that's gonna be either the Seattle Kraken or Dallas Stars. Connor Halbuck continues to prove he's that guy with a lone goal from Connor McDavid, Seattle's taking game one. However, in game two, it looks like Jake Ottinger is gonna be the star as he's picking up a 30 save shutout and we're headed to a game three elimination. But when push came to shove, it looks like Connor Halbuck's just gonna be the better goaltender between these two as Seattle's gonna be scoring seven goals and they're off to the Stanley Cup final. Before they reach the final though, they gotta add one more guy to their team and that's gonna be Nathan McKinnon. So here we are, we've officially reached the final and we're down to our final two teams and that's the Boston Bruins taking on the Seattle Kraken. Game one would be back and forth the entire way, but Connor McDavid's gonna be picking up the last goal of the game so Seattle's taking this one five to four. And it looks like the Boston
Boston Bruins are just going to have no answer for this Seattle Kraken team. They're taking down the Bruins in two games and they're Stanley Cup champions. Honestly, I'm just incredibly surprised the New York Rangers weren't the team winning this. Because just looking at that forward core, I'm surprised the Boston Bruins were able to find a way to stop them. Because I thought they were going to be averaging like six goals a game. 